Hello there, and welcome to the Grand Championship Series 2. Company of Heroes is a fantastic computer game, that's why we're all here. It's been played as a competitive endeavor by a select schism of the community, by passionate individuals and players that know this game's potential as a game damn worth playing. And that, of course, is why we're here this weekend. But to talk a little bit about history, 2006, this game out, you've got game replays, people playing each other and thinking, hang on, this isn't just a really good game with great ratings on Metacritic. I really want to get good at this. So they called themselves Dr. Horse and Arheny and all silly gamer tag names. Then you got a guy like Ami Pulitzai Funk and Game Replay started saying, hang on, why don't we uh, make some tournaments? And people were like, damn right, this is great. And uh, that was quite a long time ago. Then of course, KOTU.org, and we, then we finally had ESL, we had Warpaint Championships, and um, then in 2017, uh, Stormless and I wanted to do some casting, and we were like, dead game, what's happening? <laughs> but the community was still strong. The community was still strong, and that's why we did a Kickstarter, and we called the Kickstarter Grand Championship Series. The community's reaction to that uh, crowdfunded activity was fantastic. And we, in July, on July 1st, we ended up with a fantastic finals between two great competitors, and it was a good accomplishment. But we knew we could do better. We didn't want to leave it there, and the community had a huge hunger and desire to see a much better event. And that exactly is what GCS2 is all about. And the primary thing that it's all about is over the next two days, we're going to take eight of the best players in this game's existence, and we are going to be left with one champion. So without further ado, speaking of champions, let's bring on for you today, the Grand Championship Series 1 champion. It's Love Nest, everybody. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you, Matt. Stefan, as well has been a good friend. You're also Love Nest, and uh, this time last year you were known as the greatest player in the world at this game. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure my parents were really proud of me. <laughs> they, they were. Mm. And um, that's a lot of pressure, right? What we have to ask you right now is how are you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling good. Uh, this uh, venue is really overwhelming, and I'm really glad to be here and uh, seeing like the eight best people in the world and uh, lots of familiar faces in the crowd, which is uh, awesome. And uh, I'm going to give it my best and uh, bring this thing home again. Again, mm -hmm. to its rightful home. But everybody knows it's, uh, it's difficult to get to the top. But it's an old adage, it's difficult to, even more difficult to stay there. Do you, how do you foresee this weekend going, and are you up to that challenge? Oh, staying at the top. Yeah, it, it got a little bit windy during the qualifiers, uh, but I think, I, I, yeah, I, I tumbled a bit, um, but I, I think eventually I um, figured it out, and uh, I'm feeling really confident now, and uh, I'm trying to keep that hill, yeah. There we go. Um, a man of his domain, and he wants to stay top of the mountain. Thank you, Love Nest. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> Popular player, of course. Let's meet his opponent this time last year, sometimes known as the Portuguese prodigy and uh, on paper the greatest tournament player in this game's existence. Love Nest um, beat him last year, but he's back with a vengeance this year. It's Devem. Hello, everyone. Devem, uh, I believe we had a few interviews. Um, this time last year before GCS won? Yes, we did. <laughs> you were sounding very confident. You're a very confident guy. You know your abilities. Um, but that, that year, you promised me you were bringing it home to Portugal then. It's a difficult question, but I'll have to ask you, what's going to be different this year? Uh, I think that this year I practiced much more than I did last time. Um, I studied the game much more than I did last time. And I think that maybe last time I was a bit too cocky, and this time I'm like, a bit more humble. Um, but I think that the first qualifier showed that I am ready to, this time, take the cup. <laughs> yeah, I think that would look good in your bedroom, you know? It's, uh, <laughs> it as, would as be. It, there's, there's six, well, there's seven other guys this weekend, seven great players that have played mm -hmm. this game as much as yourself, that, they've, um, that they're, they're out there to beat you, and uh, they want to prove that uh, that first qualification tournament was a fluke, that that 11-0 was just... You were feeling good mm -hmm. that day. Uh, is there anything you'd say to those players now? 
Uh, definitely it wasn't a fluke, so they better be ready. Wow, okay, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, everybody needs a, a bad guy, and uh, exactly. I think DevM's is clearly having a bit of that bad guy attitude. He's, uh, he's, he's here for the trophy, and he's uh, saying it right now, so it's thank you. It's fun to be the bad guy, so. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> thank you, DevM. Thank you. Talking about Kings of the Mountain, if you've been following this game for a while, you'll know a player that is a, a very, very revered and feared player. Somebody from the distant past that is, is a dormant volcano, quite frankly. And that man is Hesulin. So welcome, Hesus. Hey, guys. Hesulin, at one point in this game's history, you were the man. You were the poster child for the competitive scene of this game. Do you think you can make it happen again this weekend? Let's see what happens. My odds are against me, but I mean, I used to play better in the past, but let's see this weekend. One thing I remember asking you, I gave you the heads up that uh, due to win-loss during the qualifying, that you'd be seed eight, and you had an answer for me. Do you remember what that answer was? Yeah, um, it doesn't matter the seed you are, because if you want to win the tournament, uh, you have to win every player. So it doesn't matter if you are seed number one or seed number eight, as I am. Exactly. You've, you've got to... To be the man, you've got to beat the man. And uh, it's a very, very cool attitude Hesulin plays, and this guy um, is capable of beating anybody. So thank you so much, Hesulin. Thank you. This man goes by many monikers. And uh, if you're thinking it's going a little bit too well right now, this man's going to put a spanner in your works because he is Von Ivan. <laughs> Von Ivan, there's <laughs> Von Ivan. There's a lot of um, Americans that have made the flight. There's a lot of um, your compatriots back home that want to see you win this thing because it's a Europe-dominated tournament. What do you have to say for your fans? America. Yeah! <laughs> there we go. This guy's bringing it. And Von Ivan, um, I don't want to down-talk your incredible accomplishments in tournaments, but we have to say it. ESL was NA flavored for yourself. Are you going to finally beat the man that wins that huge major and put to bed any doubts that you're a fantastic player that belongs with the very best? I just have two words for this. No survivors. Yeah! <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but Stone Tiger Daffy is in attendance. <laughs> and, uh, and these guys are fun funding a fantastic tournament that gives us the opportunity to see some amazing plays. And uh, Von, Von Ivan, uh, are you going to bring some surprises for us this weekend? Oh, I have quite a few surprises in mind. I mean, uh, could be some explosions, some plane crashes. You never know. KOTU is all about fun RNG, but there's definitely some surprises in mind. If there's anybody that embodies this game at its core, which is a beautiful strategy game with brutal moments of randomness, it's this man. And I can't wait to see your games. Thank you, sir. <laughs> now, let's bring on a surprise package in the last two years, but he's no surprise package anymore because Von Aston is making his way onto the stage. <laughs> Hello. Welcome, Evan. And, uh, You've made your way onto this stage, and you're now, you are a household name in the tournament scene. Von Aston, you won the big 2v2 tournament this year. You're looking strong, you're looking good, but the big question is, do you have what it takes to win this event this weekend? I think I have. And what, what sort of things set you aside and give you that confidence? I feel confident. I did well in the qualifiers, and uh, I have the skills to uh, do it. But let's see what happens. Everyone can win. They can win, and uh, I think you might have what it takes, because... You're a micro, and your skill and your tactical knowledge seems second to none. You're very sharp. Your love of the game, talk us through what's been your journey in the past two years to make you as good as you are now. I started as a 4v4 player in 2013 with my brother, he's sitting there, <laughs> and uh, <coughs> real life friends, and then uh, I uh, switched to 2v2 and then to 1v1. And there you go, <coughs> and he's made his way to this incredible one versus one tournament representing the Netherlands. 
and uh, a proud history of players scrimming. And uh, of course, this moment I'd like to mention one of your scrim partners, Nagano, who sadly couldn't be here. But I can't think of a better player than to fly the flag of you and your friends and uh, the competitive spirit of somebody that's never won a tournament than Von Aston. You're no underdog, but uh, it would be amazing if you won this weekend. So thank you. Thank you. And something lurks in the east, the forests of Finland. He is a talisman for the ESL generation. It is, of course, Talisman. Uh, hello. Hello, and uh, you're, no well, you're no stranger to these kind of events. You're on a competitive Overwatch uh, <laughs> team, that's right, isn't it? Yeah, I was uh, quite a few co competitive Overwatch teams, and I played on live like four times, I think. Wow, and uh, Finland has this great history and lineage of uh, cracking esports competitors, and you treat this game seriously, and you offer something different. What do you think it is that you might offer that will propel you to the top of the throne this weekend? Uh, I think it's just uh, the endurance, so we're going to have like uh, three hours uh, <laughs> the series, uh, let's see who stands up after that. I just saw the venue owner George is uh, preparing a hammock, and these <laughs> 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 but this guy, uh, I called you the wall on the brackets poster because your levels of endurance are fantastic, your manpower preservation is something to be admired. You approach this game slightly differently, is this something you've always done or is this something in your preparation for the competitive events recently? Uh, this is a new thing. Basically, I made a uh, strategy against Brits, but it worked out against other factions, so why not use it? It's, it's just uh, turning uh, the micro game of Company Heroes 2 into a macro game, so you need to save up manpower. There you go. He's, he's changing the game he's playing. He's in the Matrix, quite frankly. <laughs> Thank you, Talisman. Talking of the Brits, bring on the cavalry. He's got a multitude of fans, and uh, he's a man that needs very little introduction, but we'll give him one anyway. It's Helping Hands. Hello. Hans, you're no stranger to being on camera, of course, so you might have a distinct advantage in that case. You might not suffer with the stage fright, and you might be able to chill out and make this weekend happen. What do you feel? Um, yeah, I've got that experience under my belt. However, my past lands um, that I have been a part of haven't, been, you know, haven't done too well, so we'll see how it happens today, but I feel confident. You look confident. That last qualifying tournament, it was like uh, people were writing you off. I lost a £10 bet with Stormless, and uh, you, you got to a final, and you made it happen. It was awesome to see. And uh, are you going to be able to carry forward that momentum? I think so. I feel like I'm a lot more chilled this time. I'm taking it um, as I go. I feel like I want to have, just want to have a lot of fun rather than stressing out about the, uh, the game itself. So I think it's all, for me personally, the battle is the psychology. And I feel like I've, I've proved that on the last qualifying tournament, I managed to defeat you know, that beast of mine. And hopefully I'll be able to do well today. And uh, more luck to you. That's awesome, James. Great to hear. Thank you. Cheers. And now the eighth of our contenders. You voted for him. He's here. It's Referro. <laughs> nice hat. Thank you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Referro, you're a calm, cool, and collected character. But this year, you seem to have become a fantastic player, something that everybody seems to respect. Is there anything about your play style that you'd like to pick out and say, this is what makes me different? Uh, I don't know exactly if there's something to say about what makes me different. Like a lot of players use the tactical map, and I'm never getting used to it. <laughs> so something that could be a handicap to many players, but I'm, I try to make uh, use of it without it as best as I can. Absolutely. How are you approaching this weekend? What's your overall strategy? So as we know, there are seven other players in this tournament, but I had one player in mind that I knew I had I have to be to, to at least get anywhere in the upper bracket. So I had one player as, as my focus of to beat, and then every uh, other player comes second to that. So <laughs> That's right. So we, he's going to be up against uh, Loveness in the first round, and Referro is going to take, uh, take it to the champion. Uh, and, and that's just awesome to hear. Um, so this is Referro. That was your eight players. Thank you, Referro. And uh, that leaves us with uh, not much else to talk about. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> that leaves us with not much else to talk about, because we are now pretty much ready.
That's right. After two years of build-up, if you take the entire Grand Championship Series concept into approach, four amazing tournaments this year, fantastic uh, website with great innovations, some amazing plays. The playership has gotten better and stronger. We are now finally ready. In 10 minutes' time or thereabouts, we're going to strip down this set. We're going to have a huge projector on for everybody live in attendance. And you guys at Twitch at Home are going to be treated to fantastic quality as we bring to you a double elimination tournament, best of three, where eight players will go to war, quite frankly. And at the end of it all, on late on Sunday evening, you will see one man lift this trophy. So now I'm going to segue into the audio booth where Tightrope and Stormless will be getting ready to cast the first game, Devem versus Hesulin. Let the games begin. <laughs> 